Hi, my name is Anthony Quadra, 30 years old, from Quezon City. I'm a Century Tuna Super Bond because as a passionate for health and fitness, uh, my goal is to share for children with special needs that fitness is very important because not just us is required to be active and healthy, also us them as well. Because right now, fitness and health is very important. That's why this is a perfect campaign to share to them that, you know, uh, being healthy and also supporting them to become active and being a Spartan ambassador, uh, aspiring CrossFit uh, Century Tuna Battlegrounds this coming day. And looking forward, I'll be part of this uh, campaign. All right. Oh, is it Anthony, good afternoon. Good luck on Battlegrounds, by the way. We'll see you there. So, nowadays, so we know we, we all work, we all take transportation, we know there's traffic. So there are people nowadays find it difficult to have complete sleep and rest. Sa kulang, kulang sa tulang, kulang sa pahinga. So for you, what do you think is the best solution for this? I think for me, the best solution is being also an online coach, I have clients abroad also having um, two jobs or three and then my goal for them not just to help, um, you know, being healthy and active at the same time, for them to get away for the meantime with their busy schedules and that's at the same time, the solution for that is of course, time management and there are a lot of modified workouts which is you can do it at home or uh, at the gym because if you have that goal, definitely you'll, you'll, you'll find for that. Thank you, Anthony. Hello, I'm si Carlo Carranza. I'm 27 years old and I'm from BGC. I'm an IT engineer and I am also a fashion content creator. Um, bukod sa hubad ako ngayon, uh, I'm a Century Tuna Super Bod. Uh, and I'm a Super Bod because I'm resilient and I refuse to never give up. I will never give up on the person that I'll become. In short, hindi pa ako magigib up. Thank you. Thank you, Carlo. Hello. Hello. So my question for you is, how do you ensure that your influence as a super bot extends beyond physical fitness and encompasses well-being and personal development? Um, such a beautiful question for a, such a beautiful event. Uh, I really believe in this campaign so much uh, because it really embodies, I mean, it really gives platform to a diversity of stories for from different ages, from different genders. I really love the event and I want to be part of it. Now I'm part of it uh, by sharing my story um, and really just embodying the core, my core, and with confidence. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon judges. My name is Chris Kralek Cruz, 31 years of age, from the city of Manila. I'm a Century Tuna Superbot because as a former athlete, now coach and corporate employee, I believe that it is my job to inspire others as I've been inspired to do more and be more uh, in helping others become the best version of themselves physically and mentally. Thank you. Christopher Cruz. Um, how did you make the transition from being an athlete into a corporate individual? And how was that journey like? Uh, honestly, it was a very difficult uh, journey because as an athlete, you're more of an active person. But uh, in the corporate, you're just sitting down. But of course, um, I believe that you can still work like your mind and your body together. Because, for example, I'm a daily routine. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a day job, I'm a data analyst. Uh, after work, I do uh, 
to uh, go to the gym. And on Saturdays, uh, I teach volleyball to the young aspirants. Anong level ang naabot mo sa naabot mo sa bago? Uh, actually, I didn't go to yung professional. Ang din kali siya. Ang sa varsity at kulihan niyo sa naman talagang rin. Arriba. Arriba na rin. Good afternoon everyone, I'm Carlo Cusi, 38 years old, and I'm a super god because 16 years ago I used to I used to look like this. Uh, can someone please help them add this to our judges? I was an ectomorph with uh, bad acne. Uh, I also have my two sisters. My sisters are my scoliosis and my psoriasis. But I did not let them hinder me from becoming the best version of myself. And if I can do it, then definitely I can also inspire others to do it. How hard was it to hear you look a bit um, on the skinnier? How hard was it for you to transform your body and how long? And what were the things you were doing? Well, I've been working out for 16 years and it's actually not difficult. Uh, what matters is my mantra in working out is, is consistency versus uh, intensity. So according to research, we only need 30 minutes of workout, of moderate workout every day to be fit. And if you pair that with replacing one meal a day with Century Tuna, then we are all on the road to our fitness journey. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Nasher Hal and I'm turning 20 years old tomorrow. I am from Taguig City. I am your Century Tuna Superbot because with every step I take, every rep that I lift, and every bite that I take to fuel myself with is a true testament to the power of perseverance and the bountiful limits that we all have within ourselves. Three years ago, when I finally decided to lift the dumbbell up for good, I knew that the way my body looked would change. But I wasn't prepared for how my life would change, how my life would change for better, how my life had order. So, I hope I can inspire each and every one of you to lead your life and strive for greatness, because so that you can see the change that I saw. Anyways, the only constant thing in life is change, right? Thank you. Hi Nasir. Hi. You're the probably the youngest contestant here, I suppose. Yeah. So my question for you would be in context to sustainable fitness in regarding to the youth, what do you think most teenagers are liking and how do you think you uh, as a spokesperson could prevent this or mitigate that? Apologies, most teenagers once again I couldn't hear. How would you challenge the youth or teenagers to be more sustainable in regarding to living a sustainable fitness lifestyle? Well, I only believe the way to challenge youth is to stick it into their minds. You can see our youth today, everybody's so normalized with, you know, not being so fit or not being so healthy. But I feel like if everybody, you know, takes it into their heart, brings it and shares it around to other people, I feel like the youth would all be the same, would all be fit. Look at our, you know, look at all us together now. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm Raul Balboa, 27 years old, from Mandaluyong City. 
I am essentially doing a super bad because I'll be your strength to help you become the better you. Let's eat, sleep, train, repeat. Hello, Ralph. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sir Carlo. So, Ralph, so your question. So, who is your fitness idol or your fit inspiration? And how did they influence you to become the best you ever? My fitness inspiration idol is my dad. When I was a kid, when I go home from school, I see him always walk in a treadmill. And he also lift dumbbells. It's, it was almost every day. And then because of that, I will carry on his uh, values and discipline. Hey, thank you. visibility globally in the fitness industry. Kasi medyo, di ba, parang fitness industry is, is like a growing uh, industry. But what can we do as Filipinos to, to elevate that? Well, first things first, as Filipinos, we're already in the radar. We're good at a lot of things. We can be good at swimming, dancing, all aspects, you name it. 
while in terms of fitness, of course, we're also gifted at that. Um, there's technology, we can use social media to express the things that everybody should know to get their journey started in their fitness. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It's about communicating, spreading the word, and just all positive vibes, motivation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. James Guy. I am 23 years old and I am from Manila City. I am a super, a super bot because first I practice and I preach the mindset of focusing on the solutions and the opportunities in life despite the current situation we're in. Thank you. Hi Josiah. Hi. Can you uh, give us an example of an opportunity or a hurdle you had to overcome to get to this point where you are now? Um, thank you for that question. Um, one of the hurdles or one of the challenges that um, I want to overcome is actually public speaking and um, basically this one, this event. So I'm very grateful to be part of this event and um, one of my goals is just to do something about it. So it doesn't need to be very extreme. It can be as simple as like joining Central Tuna. And I would also like to share my health concerns last year, which is quite bad because I had high blood pressure as young as 23 years old. So what did I do? I decided to take healthy options. I ate healthy foods just like Century Tuna. That's why that is now my advocacy to do something about it. And also, remember, seeking for help is still doing something about it. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Carlo and I'm 40 years old two weeks ago. Thank you God for reminding me. And I'm from Las Vegas City. Um, I'm a super bot because I continue to overcome. Growing up here in the Philippines, I overcame bullying, uh, physical, mental, and emotional uh, bullying. Um, which, which um, made me fit into the different crowds and I fell into the wrong crowd. My parents um, decided to move me to the U.S. and there I also overcame racism, uh, making fun of my looks, my height and everything else. Um, I just thank God that uh, he introduced me to fitness and it truly saved my life. I'm back here in the motherland now and I'm trying to inspire others. I finished a degree in occupational therapy, my second degree. I started working with children with special needs. And now I am a head of fitness learning and development in charge of over 50 um, instructors all across the Metro Manila area. Um, I'm in hopes of empowering and other than thinking that only the strong survives, it's really only the most adaptive survives. We're in you can be placed anytime, anywhere, and still reach a certain level of success and happiness. And at the end of the day, that's all we need. Thank you very much. Hi, Carlo. Uh, you said you. fitness saved your life. Yes, sir. It's a big statement, and uh, I can relate to that. So I'm curious, how specifically did it save your life? Please elaborate. Yes, sir. So. When I was in the U.S., um, I was 16 years old. Um, even my family was making fun of me, uh, calling me names, F.O.B. means fresh off the boat. I couldn't make any friends. Um, I, I lost track of who I am, started eating, 
gaining weight, acne all over my face. I wanted to end my life. And um, luckily, I came across uh, Filipino people that love to play basketball. So um, I played basketball with them, uh, introduced me to fitness. I fell in love with seeing myself in the mirror and people seeing me, praising me. And I started, it just, it just, uh, it's just a domino effect after that. Thank you very much. Beautiful story. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good evening. My name is Chris Guevara, I'm 36 years old, and I'm from Pateros. I can inspire you to be the best you ever, because my journey is a testament of resilience and determination. I am a proud registered nurse, but I have a strong desire to be a doctor. But unfortunately, my family cannot afford to send me to med school. So a few years ago, I packed my bags, went to New Zealand to work there to save for my education. And at 36, despite my age, I'm currently a third year medical student at Far Eastern University. I joined Century Tuna to not only be a fit inspiration, but also to be an inspiration to others, especially the young ones. To never give up on your dreams. That nothing is impossible if you put your heart, your mind, and hard work and have grit to continue to be the um, to continue to transform for the better and be the best you ever thank you good afternoon chris good afternoon sir carlo how yeah, are I'm, you i'm good i'm good how are you i'm good thanks so thank you for sharing your very inspiring story and for going for your dreams. Yes. So um, you said you're you're a nurse and also a studying to be a doctor, right? Yes, I'm on my third year and soon to be an intern. Yep. So what do you think is the biggest health issue in the Philippines and what we should be doing to address it? Okay. Thank you for that question. I think um, the biggest health issue in the Philippines right now is. Um, it's about nutrition. Nutrition and promoting um, physical fitness, okay? Because when you have good nutrition and when you're exercising, you're, you can be better physically, emotionally, and mentally, and socially as well. And you'll be able to perform your activities of daily living. Thank you. Ako si Eman Santos, I am 30 years old and from city of Megawayan, Bulacan. We are living in a society where my skin color, my body build, especially my height, are not the standard of beauty. We have been stereotyped by wrong belief and mistaken ideas. Ladies and gentlemen, I am actually a newbie here and this is actually my first time to join in this kind of platform and I consider this joining here as one of my greatest what if. I am a super bot because I can inspire others by reaching out to also make others to believe in themselves, to move forward, to release their full potential, and to also try their greatest what if. I personally am a, uh, uh, I mean in the morning I am a government employee and at night I am a law student. And it shows that I promote, uh, I celebrate uh, personal growth. And becoming the best version of myself is a life journey, is a life lesson that I had long been accepted. And I want others to also accept that challenge, to become the best version of themselves and to be the best of you ever. Thank you. Hello, is it Hi, Mom. Me? You can call me Emma. Emma. My friends call me Emma. Yeah. Hello, Emma. Um, How are you? I'm good, nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, my question.
question for you. Well, you mentioned you're a law student. Yep. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So, um, being a law student is a big commitment. So, how do you balance being a law student as well as keeping fit and staying healthy? Um, I want to share to you a line which um, Brian Tracy, a famous uh, motivational speaker, once said. He said that you cannot put limit on how much you become and how much you can be. There are no limits on what you can be and what you can do except those limits that you can put on yourself. It is only you that who can put limits to on what on everything that you can do. I do believe that success has two um, ingredients. First is dedication and next is health. You have to be dedicated for it to be if you will for you to um, for you to um, strive further and for you to 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 um, reach your goal and of course you need to be healthy for you to be able to do all, all of all, all of this and that's all my answer thank you thank you Emma. thank you to you is between let's just say theoretically today you had a three million peso contract to shoot um, whatever uh, to, to do a, to do a shoot you're a photographer no? yes. professional photographer three million peso contract to do a shoot for uh, let's say a fashion brand or attend the century to the super bond final contract which one would you choose? And why? Absolutely, and why? Absolutely, sir. I'm here in front of you. To be honest, I have another work today that I cancel. And I really want to be here. That's why I really want to be in front of you and to prove that I really want this. Because I believe I can. For a century too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. City and I am a super bot. I'm here to inspire others, <clears throat> transform their lives, and <clears throat> to do this is to find your purpose. I, my purpose is to help others transform. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, a gym owner, and a restaurateur. Uh, every single day, I make sure that uh, <clears throat> my, my clients are ready for their day. I make sure that they're re ready to face their challenges. And <clears throat> I'm here to inspire and empower others for that. Thank you. Hi, Magnus. Hello. Uh, what makes you different from the other contestants? I think all of us contestants are unique in our own way. We all go through different uh, struggles, different hurdles in life, and that's that makes us all unique. And we have our own way to show it to everyone. And that's <clears throat> very important that we're unique to be able to show everyone what we're made of. Thank you. Oh, 
ating lahat. Ang mabu pala si Alexis Yusi, 30 years old na nanggaling sa syudad ng San Fernando, Pampanga. I am, uh, I am a super bud. I inspire you to be the best you ever. Kasi mahal ko buhay yung lahat. That was very sweet, Alexis. Can you please tell us how you prepared for this day and uh, what was maybe challenging for you to be right here, right now? Ano ang preparation for today? To be here? Ang hindi Maybe nutrition, fitness, Paano ko nag-prepare para dito? Thank you, Kylie. Uh, una po, nung uh, nag-addition po ako, sinimulan ko na po patulog ng maaga. Tapos, important po kasi yung patulog para laging malakas yung pangatawan at laging active yung ano po, mind para mag-workout, para makapag-ready po dito. Salamat po. Salamat po. constantly improving no matter how big or how small one person at a time as a photographer from the industry I am I constantly improve myself to be right here right now on the stage to give you my best show ever and to give you the best show ever thank you for that Raph so Raph I'll give you a little bit of a curveball so your question is so what do you think is the biggest threat to Mother Nature, and how should society prepare for it? Thank you for that question. So for me, the biggest threat to Mother Nature is our excessive usage of energy. Because right now, we have a big energy shortage, lalo na mainit dal El Niño. So what we can do to prevent the energy shortage is to learn more on how we can reduce our consumption and learn more how we can create an impact that collectively we can reduce energy by switching off the lights. Those simple things, one person at a time, through constant improvement, we will be able to save energy. Therefore, we will be able to save our Earth by preventing global warming as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rob. Hi everyone, my name is John Reyes de Desorda, 31, and I'm your Mr. Gay World 2023. I'm here in front of you and saying that I'm your Century Tuna Super Bots because I have the courage to show everyone or to bring up that you can do something better. At the same time, you have your uniqueness to showcase and show to everyone that you are you're the, you are the best version of yourself. And from within, we are learning from our from our experiences at the same time. I always believe in a saying that no man is an island. So we can share our experiences by emotional, spiritual, and mental, and especially by physical. And from there, I can consider myself as an enough individual to prove everyone that I'm good enough. Thank you. Hello, hi John, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. So my question for you is, how do you think social media influences body image and what can be done to promote a healthier view? Um, thank you for that wonderful question. Um, for the social media, um, I, would consider, I would say that um, every person has an access to social media. That would really depend on us if how are we going to take 
um, the, the reactions of each net netizens in social media. If ever, you, if ever you will take it negatively, or if ever you will take it positively. But for me, as an individual, um, from from the position that I was been bullied when I was a kid, and now a very strong image, a very strong personality developed in me, I would can, I would say and encourage everyone: don't take those, those negativity as your Falls or failure or stresses or your weakness, but use it, use it to your, um, but use it for your growth and for, for you to improve yourself. And from within, you would see you're good enough to show everyone that you are the one. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes people will question you, but a strong mind and strong body is all you need to take on this world. So let me inspire you to become the best you be. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Um, speaking of being Tadudu, what is your... Aside from winning Century 2 now, what are your biggest dreams? Uh, the biggest Delulu I have. have. Well, I was Delulu for a girl for a long, long time before, but uh, I'm the Lulu that I could be great. I'm not yet there, I'm in work in progress, but I believe that I will be someone. And a lot of people have doubted me, and a lot of people have questioned me, but I believe that I can be someone. And you have to start from within, and you have to love who you are first. Thank you. Twenty-seven years of age, 
and I'm from Luzon City. I'm a super god because I always do my diet on point and even though I'm too busy in my business, I always go to the gym and do running and other stuff. Hi John, you mentioned uh, you're very dedicated physically. What do you think uh, it takes mentally for you to be uh, on this level, I suppose, on a consistent level? Uh, for me, uh, to, be, uh, to be consistent, you need to be disciplined and you need to be hardworking and always do your diet on point and it's a lifestyle for me. Thank you very much. Hi guys, I'm Julian Rojas, 32 years old. You can find me somewhere in Pasig City. I am a super bot, and I can inspire everyone to become the best you ever because I haven't given up. And because I haven't given up, I know you haven't too. So let me tell you a short story. This is the third time that I've been on this stage. Back in 2020, I wasn't able to compete because I was associated with someone who had COVID. Uh, I was negative, but we didn't really know anything about COVID that time, so we have to take Century 2 of our taking your safety precautions. Fast forward to 2022, uh, if you guys would remember, uh, I had a cancer scare, I have a cut here. Uh, thankfully, when they removed it, it was benign, but it really hindered me from uh, being the best version of myself. I couldn't eat well, uh, I couldn't work out, basically I couldn't live a normal life. So fast forward to today, this is the destination. And whoever made this tagline, best you ever, is a genius. Because if this wasn't the tagline, I wouldn't be here. So I owe it to Century Tuna, I owe it to everyone to show you the best me ever. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Julian. Thank you. So and thank you as well for joining once again. So glad to have you here. So your question. Um, so I'll give you a situation. So in a situation where you have a friend struggling with keeping themselves healthy, what advice or steps will you take to motivate and encourage them to be at their best? Well, basically, uh, people are different. And uh, minsan, ang kailangan ng tao is meron siyang kausap. So maybe every day you could give them daily reminders, positive reminders, no negativity, and I'm pretty sure that will uplift the spirit to become better himself. Thank you, Julian.
uh, full faith talaga na pag may hilingin ka, ibibigay niya basta oo palati, uh, parati yung faith mo. At man, manindigan ka parati kay Mama Mary. Yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Good afternoon, everyone, and good afternoon to our lovely judges today. My name is Michael Verkumaling. I am 23 years old, and I am from the city of beautiful people, Ormond City! As a student, artist, a Philippine national team, and a Southeast Asian Games gold medalist in the sport of modern pentathlon, I can inspire you to become the best you ever because I have the burning desire to achieve my goals and dreams in my life. Even though I may experience temporary setbacks and failures, I know in my heart that I can win because in my heart, in my mind, and in my body, I am a Century Tuna Super Pie! Good evening, sir, Greg. Congratulations on the gold medal. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, who were you, who, were, who was your biggest competitor at that time? What, from what country? Um, from Thailand. So what do you think set you apart? Because all of you were obviously preparing. Uh, yes. It's a very rigorous sport, obviously. Uh, yes. Five events in what, two days, was it, or one day? Um, it, it was actually around Almost a week, sir. A week of competition. So, five events. But uh, what do you think set you apart that gave you the gold medal versus everyone else who probably trained as hard yes. as you? What, what made you, what do you think made you win? Mm -hmm. Honestly, our competitors that time, they were four years ahead of us. Like, imagine the gap of our training, how experienced they are. We were just like newbies in the sport in Southeast Asia. And I can remember Richard Gomez is our coach. He always tell me that do your best, do the best, do everything you can to win. And I believe with that kind of coaching, with the people around us, the support that we had from the government, the support that we have from Richard and all the love and support from my family, I think even though the odds were not in our favor, it made me win the gold medal. And that will be all. Thank you so much. I was part of a scam. I was scammed 11 million pesos. 
So from that one, I added something to my arsenal. I became a licensed PT, a kickboxing coach, and a workout coach as well, just to add something. And um, I was thinking, was it the end of my life? So I decided, I saw this uh, competition, I decided to join, so maybe this is my redemption. Maybe this time around I can prove it. I can do something else and I can do something better. That's it. You should come. Century super bot because my background as an athlete and as a yoga teacher has taught me that with the right mindset and the right approach you can progressively move forward towards and past your goals and limitations. Thank you. Hi David, you look fancy. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Apparently, yes. You said you're an athlete? Yes. And what did you compete in? Uh, I played basketball professionally for a couple of years. A couple of years, that's Nice. Which uh, which position were you? A uh, small forward and a power forward. What do you think the, on the journey when you were doing professional basketball? What was the most valuable skill that you are still using to this day, and maybe even pursued you going here to Central Tuna Superbot? Learning about the process of things that you're not going to be good when you first start off with things, and you got to be patient and get past the, what I call the force field of suckage. Like, you suck at something, but you gotta progressively just move past it. And that's one of the goals that I have, or one of the skills I have. Did you, can you please repeat that force field of? What's that? You said force field of? For, force field of suckage. Sorry, yeah. sorry my word. Yeah. I like it, thank yes. you very much. Thank you, cheers. I have a question. Um, there's uh, eight weeks left. Do you, do you, you've seen everyone else. What do you think you need to work on uh, in, your, in your body to be able to compete? Uh, let's say at the champion level. What, what more do you need to do? do you think? I'm going to leave that to my strength and conditioning coach, but I already pretty much work out every day, so I'll, I'll try to find something, anything to give me that edge. So maybe a little bit more cardio. What made you get into yoga? I mean, um, not a lot of men are into flexibility. Good question. Um, as an athlete, I think you're, you know, you're very rigid and tight because of your your sport. And I initially just used it as a way to kind of get better at my sport. And then I, oh, well, right, that's a wrap up. But yeah, and I ended up learning how to teach it. So now I teach it. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Ramit De La Cruz, I'm 25 and I'm from Quezon City. I am a super bot because as a student and as someone who hopefully wants to compete one day professionally in powerlifting, um, from my experience, no matter how your day goes, no matter is it shine or is it rain, you could always find it within yourself to push yourself through and finish your day well. Thank you. Hello, Ramin. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Yeah, so your question. So can you share one experience you deemed as a failure and how you positively coped with it? So please explain. Um, from my own personal experience, one of the failures I had, which I had many, um, during the early pandemic years when our classes converted to online, I studied dentistry. So a lot of things got complicated and I had a hard time adjusting and I had a very difficult time. But then I took a step back and uh, realized that failure is only temporary as long as you don't 
allowed it to be compare medal. Special like um, I always tell to myself that um, failure is temporary, but success lasts forever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question. You said you are you are aspiring to be a powerlifter, correct? Yes, sir. I'm curious because uh, I started with powerlifting too, so what are your numbers, your one rep max and back squat? Um, my current one rep max in the squat is 185 it's kilogram. Kilogram, all right. Um, bench is one, um, 130, then 200 in the deadlift. Wow. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done. Thank you so much to all our male aspiring supervisors.